Damien Carvin with your national news briefing. As the search for little Cleo Smith moves through its eighth day in WA, police have shifted the focus to the family home in Carnarvon. Forensics have spent hours at the property canvassing fingerprints, looking at the possibility of someone stalking the four-year-old in the days before she vanished. Police are now treating the disappearance from the campsite as an abduction, with the WA government still offering a $1 million reward. A little boy is fighting for life after being hit by a car in Adelaide's eastern suburbs. The six-year-old was struck on the parade in Rosslyn Park around 10 this morning. He's been taken to the Women and Children's Hospital. Major crash is still at the scene. Australia's COVID vaccine booster program could be rolled out as early as next week to make sure those who got jabbed first maintain their immunity against the virus. The TGA could give Pfizer the green light to begin those this weekend. It comes as Victoria records another nine deaths and 1,750 new infections, with New South Wales recording 332 new cases and sadly two more deaths. Overseas, and audio from the 911 call made after veteran actor Alec Baldwin allegedly shot and killed a colleague on the set of a new movie has been released. Two people accidentally shot on a movie set by a prop gun. We need help immediately, okay? Now answer the Cree Come on. Hey, stay on the phone with me. We're going to get some help, okay? The Santa Fe County Sheriff's Department is investigating the tragedy. Get personalised hair loss treatment in five minutes delivered to your door. Clinically proven treatment for men and women. One pill taken daily. Theharrypill.com.au To cricket and T20 skipper Aaron Finch has confirmed out of form Dave Warner's position is in no doubt ahead of tonight's World Cup clash with South Africa. Would he have liked more runs? Absolutely. That's that, Everyone would like more runs all the time, but... He's, he's one of the greatest players Australia's ever produced. The Matildas take on Brazil in their international friendly in Sydney tonight. It's the first time the Aussie team has played on home soil since March last year. And the Wallabies just about underway against Japan near Fukuoka in the country's south. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. Staying wet across the limestone coast for the rest of Saturday. Seven the low tonight, maybe a shower in 16 tomorrow. Partly cloudy in 17 on Monday, warmer Tuesday, sunny and 25. For radio, podcast, music and news, download the free listener app.